Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm just going to be showing you guys how I achieve these jumbo, what is this called? Jumbo box braids. From start to finish, I would say it took me about six hours. That's including washing and blow drying my hair. It took me about four hours to um, put the braids in. So if your hair is already washed and already blow dried, you don't even got to worry about that. But yeah, it's going to take you about four hours just to install these. And when I say four hours, I mean like that was me taking a break in everything. I'm going to count them and see how many I have and I'll probably... So I have like 31 to 32 um, twists or 31 to 32 braids. It actually looks pretty thick. I probably would have wanted them to be a little bit thicker, but since they're all... Well, Initially, I wanted them to be a little bit thicker, but now that they're on my head and I can feel the weight of them, 32 seems like a good amount, seems like a good number, and they're pretty thick as well. I used two packs of this hair. Oh wait, hold on, what am I doing? You said that. I used two packs of the Just Glam hair in 65 inches, and I got it in the color four. Because my hair isn't really that dark. It's not like a 1B, like a, dark color, it's, it's more of a brown color, so I thought it would kind of blend a little bit better with this hair. I'll turn this way. So they're probably not perfect. Well, I know they're not perfect, but I tried my best to do like the triangle shape. So. Yeah. Yeah, some of them are just like straight up, straight up squares, but <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is what the finished product looks like. What I'm going to do now is probably go to the beauty supply store and get a few more of um, these type of things and get that string as well to kind of um, crisscross it over my hair. But after that, I'm pretty much going to be done with this hairstyle. I plan on keeping it for probably about, shoot, I'll say probably two weeks to three weeks because I, I don't really like keeping the same hairstyle for too long. So I'll probably keep it for a few weeks. Yeah, let me know if this video was helpful so far or let me know if it wasn't detailed enough because I can actually break it down as to how I um, parted my hair as well. So I just parted my hair straight across like that. And I will check in with you guys with the finished product when I'm finished purchasing these things and putting them on and all that stuff. And sealing the ends because I haven't done that yet. So I will see you guys later. So I'm actually going to jump right into showing you guys how I... Can y'all hear that motorcycle in the background? Okay, we're going to ignore that. But anyway, I'm going to show y'all how I did the braids. So the first thing I'm doing is fluffing out the hair a little bit. Just to kind of, you know, get the strands loosened up and everything. Because the ends were the part that was really kind of like stuck together. But yeah, I, I did the rubber band method. So um, I parted my hair in sections. I put some edge control on the roots. And then I put the rubber band on the section. Then I'm just going to use my hair as the third leg as you can see and i'm gonna make sure that um i'm covering up the rubber band with the hair because i know for some braids i noticed that i didn't cover up the rubber band completely and you can kind of see it but yeah just make sure that the rubber band is covered up and then what i'm going to start doing is just like making sure it's nice and tight because you want it to be like super tight and super secure so after that i'm going to just start like feeding some hair into my um into my section of hair feeding some weave into my strand of hair or whatever so i'm gonna take a little bit from like both sides and then from there i'm pretty much just gonna braid it all the way down and you just want to make sure that you're still braiding it tight but right here i'm just gonna take a little bit more hair and then tighten the rest right back up so yeah you just want to make sure you're doing it nice and tight and like make sure that they're neat and even and yeah after that it's pretty much self-explanatory and i just braid it all the way down to the bottom yeah. 
All right, so this is just gonna be like the second half of the video. Um, the breads are pretty much done. I still have not sealed them with hot water yet because um, I don't know, I just don't wanna burn myself and at the same time, I'm just like, do I really need to seal them? Cause if they get loose, I guess I'll just braid them back up. But, um, and I do plan on doing like maintenance on them. So if they get a little frizzy, I do plan on like going back in and braiding them again or rebraiding them. Cause y'all can see some of them are still kind of tight and then some are loose. If y'all can see that. But yeah. So all I'm doing now is pretty much like the final step, which is just I'm gonna add these little charms. And I also got um I got this string stuff too. So I'm gonna add this to it and then after that, it's pretty much gonna be it, but Okay, so here I'm just going to show you guys which type of charms I got. I didn't get too many different types. I just got two different ones and I got the string to put on as well. Y'all already saw the string. And I got like two just regular feather earrings that I'm just going to use and clip into my hair. So that's a little life hack right there. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and find the positioning on where I want to put the clips. I'm focusing mainly in the front of my hair because I feel like you really probably can't really see them in the back. So like why really put a bunch of them in the back when, you know, that's not really where you can see them. So anyway, I'm just pretty much putting them in the front, finding the positioning, finding where I want to put them. Really easy, all about placement. And then um, I'm going to catch back up with you guys when I start to do like the little yarn thing. Okay, so for the yarn part, all I'm going to do is just take the piece of string and pull it through the braid one time. Then after that, I'm just going to pretty much wrap it around the braid. But you just want to make sure that whenever you're crossing over, it's making the X symbol or it's like crossing over in like a crossover zigzag type of pattern. So you just want to make sure you're looking out for that because I noticed in some parts it didn't like cross over perfectly. So you just want to be aware of that fact. But other than that, this part's really easy. When I got to the bottom, I just um, tied a double knot just so that it was secure. And that was it. It was pretty easy, easy to do, easy to explain. And you're really in there after that. Alright guys, so that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video with anyone and everybody that you know. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Um, hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you can be alerted every single time I upload a new video. Thank you guys one more time for watching. I will see you guys next time in my next video. So. Hey guys, so I'm trying something new out with my content, so if you made it to the end of this video, you are definitely a trooper, and I thank you guys so much, so, so much for your comments and your support. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time in my next video. Uh, seems